Hi, the assignment is to uh, fill out the energy requirements for your home. Uh, there's a appendix E1 in your code book that you can use, and you can copy values from Chapter 11, or you can use the ResCheck software. So if I wanted to use the ResCheck software, just type ResCheck in your address bar, and then go to the Energy Codes website. Uh, there are two options. If you'd like to be able to use ResCheck offline, you should choose this option, which creates a downloadable package that you can run in your desktop. It does not require any login information. Uh, and then the other option is to use the ResCheck web, which does require you to register uh, with your name, uh, your email address, and password. So it doesn't ask for a lot of information, but it needs a, a unique login so that you can work with colleagues, so you can work together on the same project. Um, if you'd like to work together with me, uh, I can, I can uh, work with that too. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process of downloading ResCheck for Windows. And I'll get back to you when mine's down. Okay, so I've finished downloading it, and it's down. I'm using Chrome to do this. So if you just left click on that bar, you can install it on your computer. Run the installation process. And for me, I'm just going to use the single user package, but if you have um, a company with several, you might want to use the multi user process. Okay, this is finished, so I'll press finish. After it finishes, uh, it will leave an icon on your desktop. You can double click that to open it up. And you want to up, up, check your code. So you're going to look up your codes. And in North Carolina, we're on the uh, we're on between 90 and 90.1-2010. So, next you pick a city. So, you would pick a, a city close to where the project is. And uh, if I'm talking about Rocky Mount, where I am. That'll give you the specific climate zone without you having to look it up. You're going to use new construction uh, and then you have a couple different kinds of homes. We're going to be doing one and two family and it's just a checklist item here. Uh, it, I don't think it's too hard to use. The envelope is basically uh, you do it by adding ceiling, skylights, walls, windows, doors, and you can't add a door unless you have a wall. So first you pick a wall and then you just basically pick which kind of frame you want. So this is probably a little less energy efficient, but it may need to be that way to be stronger for winds. So you have to decide what you want to use. So if I want to use 24 inch on center, then I get to pick the area. I have to enter the area of that wall. Now that's the area of the that particular wall type all over the house so that's and you might be able to you might have to use Revit to schedule that information and then enter it here uh, the gross area of the wall include this a lot of a lot of messages are going to report to you and so you want to enter the gross area of the wall assembly don't worry about entering the windows don't worry about subtracting the area for the windows this program will adjust that. So uh, it, it fills in default insulation values. But if you want to put in 19, notice that that would be good for a 2 by 6 wall, or 15 would be good for a 2 by 4 wall. So you have to know something about it. 
And if you right click, you can often find some values here. Um, and you can often get help there. U factors are going to be calculated automatically. Now this number here is going to be the area times this. So it's automatically going to do it. So if I add a, a door in that while I'm on wall one, it's going to go in that. So I have to choose what kind of door. Is it glazed door or solid door? And I have to fit, put in the areas and the U factors for that. Wind is the same way. Now what you're going to end up with is uh, a model of the your house based and then uh, it, when you do a report uh, after you do the mechanical requirements and the and the it'll tell you whether your your house meets the requirements of the building code so you could save report the viewer print report and I can check that right now. And so far, it's it's not looking good because I haven't created a complete envelope, right? It's incomplete, invalid assembly. So it's going to give me a lot of checklists. I hope this helps you. So again, it's a checklist item. You lay out all the walls and you, you lay out your floors. And you choose a floor, whether it's over unconditioned space, or and then you choose ceilings for the second story at least. Uh, and you have to pick which one you want. Do you want a cathedral ceiling or flat ceiling? Read the messages. So I have to fill in all this stuff. I don't have any valid data in here yet. I've, I've started entering insulation values. I, I haven't finished entering a window U values or door U values. You should be able to find those by looking up online. Uh, or you can pull them straight from the code book. So that briefly is how to run ResCheck, very briefly. It's not a complete, just a, a dabble into it. I'm going to let you figure out some of this. I will demonstrate this area calc takeoff tool, which doesn't quite fit on my display, but uh, you can use this to help you figure out the areas instead of running a calculator yourself.